Hello everyone, Itch to Stitch has a new skirt pattern out and it's a good one. I'll tell you all about it along with lots of photos and video of me wearing it so you can see it in action. Welcome to Sharon Sew, this is where we talk about sewing. Before I start talking about the new skirt pattern, let me tell you what I'm wearing, I did make it. This is Vogue 1704, this is a Rachel Comey design from 2020 and the fabric is a lightweight linen rayon blend that I purchased from SR Harris. Let's talk about the great Itch to Stitch Quebec skirt. This new skirt pattern is a great basic for your wardrobe. It's a jean style skirt, but it's a pull on. Features include an elastic waist, faux fly front zipper, faux flat fell seams, and pockets. We've got two pockets in the front, a coin pocket, a couple pockets in the back. Oh, and a nice little vent for walking. There's a nice big size range for this skirt, 00 to 40 hips, 33 and an eighth to 62 inches. You will choose your pattern size by the hip measurement for this one because there's elastic in the waist. You just need to be able to get it over your hip. Now there is negative ease on this skirt. So if you're between two sizes, you can certainly size up if you want to. For example, my hips measure 40 inches. That would put me in a size eight. However, the finished garment measurements for size eight are 38 and one quarter inch. I already know that's more negative ease than I prefer to wear. So I went to a size 10. The size 10 finished garment measurement was 39 and three quarter inch. So that meant just one quarter inch negative ease. After sewing my test garment, which was a size 10, I decided I didn't want any negative ease at all. I actually went up to a size 12 for my final one. So two sizes larger than my hip measurement. And you know what? That's the beauty of sewing. I know how I like my clothes to fit. So I went up two sizes. Now I've worn my black skirt already. And after wearing it, I do think I want one with the negative ease. So I'm gonna sew one in a 10 next time. Because this is a pull-on skirt with negative ease, you're going to want bottom weight stretch wovens with a 20 to 30% stretch, denim, twill, corduroy, something like that. You do not want something that has less stretch or you may not be able to get it over your hips. So how do you determine if your fabric has the right amount of stretch? Some of the online shops tell us how much stretch is in the fabric that we're purchasing, but not all of them. Fortunately, there is a formula that you can use. You're going to take your fabric, go in a bit from the salvage edge, and don't use the cut edge because that could give you an inaccurate reading. You're going to take four inches of fabric and you're going to hold it against your ruler and you're going to stretch it. And wherever that stretches, you're going to take that measurement. So let's say you have four inches of fabric, you go to five inches, the difference is one inch. You're going to see you're going to divide that by four and that gives you 0.25. Then you multiply that by 100 and you get 25%. If you don't want to do the math, there are cheat sheets online that can help you with that. I downloaded one as you can see right here. Just hold your fabric up to it, stretch, and the math is taken care of for you. Now, if you have a fuller tummy like I do, you might want to do a tiny full tummy adjustment. I found I didn't need to do this on the skirt, but Again, it all depends on your personal preference and your body shape. Now, like a bust, you've got a curve, which means you need to add a little bit of length to go around that. This is a super easy, super quick little tip that I learned in a class from Sandra Bitsina years and years ago. All we're gonna do is add a little bit of length at the top, and if you need to, a little bit of length to the width. What I would do on this pattern is I would just start at the pocket seam here, and then I would just gradually go to the center front seam. I wouldn't go more than an inch. And if you need a little more width around the tummy also, you can add a little bit here too. Another option is to add a tummy panel. You could stitch it on between the two pockets, just right in between. I've got some jeans from Chico's that does that, or you could add it to the side seams. It's gonna depend on the fabric that you use. And I can't think of the name of the fabric that you're gonna to wanna to use for the tummy panel. I'll find that and um, put the description in the video when I edit this. Fabric. I pulled a couple pieces of fabric from my stash to give you some ideas on what you could use to make your own skirt. I used a coated denim that I purchased from SR Harris. You could use faux suede. This is a faux suede I bought a couple years ago. I'm sorry, I do not recall where I purchased it. It's got a really nice feel and it's fairly heavy. It would work really well in this skirt. I did debate between this faux suede and the black denim for my skirt, but I decided the black denim went with many more things that I already have in my closet. Faux leather. That skirt would be amazing in faux leather. One thing I would do if I was gonna sew this out of faux leather is I would change the waistband just slightly. That's because the waistband is just one piece and it folds over. 
and you probably don't want that faux leather against your skin. I don't think it would be very comfortable. I would simply cut along the fold line for that casing and I'd add a tiny little seam allowance and then I would add almost like a facing on the inside, maybe a cotton jersey, something that would feel good against your skin and still stretch. And of course, faux leather continues to be in the high-end shops and runways. Knit, try using a heavyweight, low stretch ponte knit or scuba knit. There's loads of different colored denims available. This is a gray stretch denim that I purchased from Emma One Stock, and this is actually going to be my next Quebec skirt. Another option you might not think about is stretch sateen. This was my test garment that I sewed before I did my black one. And you might recognize the fabric. It was from Fabric Mart Fabrics a couple years ago. And I think many people in the online sewing community purchased this fabric. This particular one pairs beautifully right now with a sweatshirt and it'll work great transitioning into the spring and summer also. As you can see, you have multiple options as to what fabric you wanna use for the skirt. Be sure to check out the blog post on the pattern release for the skirt. There's a lot of photos of all of the different testers and you can get some great inspiration from that. I have a link in the description box below. I did wanna to mention top stitching really quickly. Top stitching thread is going to give you that traditional jean denim look. The only top stitching thread I had on hand was a sulky cotton thread. And I think perhaps because it's not an all purpose thread, that's why my stitches are starting to pop. So I'm kind of bummed about that. I'm gonna to have to fix that. If you don't have top stitching thread, but you still want that look, try using the triple stitch on your sewing machine. Many machines now have that available as an option. And because it's going back and forth multiple times, it's giving that appearance of thick thread. Not only is this skirt easy to sew, as you can see from all the photos that I put throughout this video, there are so many options with how you can pair this. Dress it up, dress it down, wear it in the winter, wear it in the summer. This is a great staple wardrobe piece and a great alternative to wearing jeans. If you're interested in purchasing the pattern, I do have a link in the description box below. It's an affiliate link. That just means that I get a small commission. If you choose to purchase the pattern using that link, no additional cost to you. It's just one way you can help support this channel. And I do appreciate it. Until I see you in the next video, have a blessed day and happy sewing.